The Salem Witch Trials was the heinous execution of women within the Salem, Massachusetts range. These women would be put to death for numerous different reasons, some being that they were acting insane, or in the case of Sarah Good, for the accusation of abusing her children. To begin, there is some brief background information to know about the witch trials. The witchcraft was said to begin in the home of Samuel Paris. He was a pastor of Salem Village. His daughter and his daughter's cousin were learning voodoo from the family slave Tabuta. This then turned into the circle of girls, all learning black magic. Tatuba was then charged with the practice of witchcraft. Puritans were known to govern themselves by the Old Testament law. The scriptures described that witchcraft should be punishable by death. So they started an examination of Tatuba. This led to Salem to implicate methods of examination for witches. One of these methods being the identification of a witch could be shown by physical signs on the body. These signs were said to be left by the devil. This brings us to Tatuba being forced to confess she has relations with the devil. She was also forced to say the names of the other witches she produced witchcraft with. She claimed to be working with Sarah Osborne as well as Sarah Good. Sarah Good was a woman who lived in Salem Village during 1692. She was married to Daniel Poole, who then died. She was remarried to William Good, and had two children, Dorothy Good and Mercy Good. Sarah truly was never able to get out of debt from the debt of her first husband, Daniel. It was believed that since Sarah had a debt, she did rely on others. It's believed that th that had something to do with her practicing witchcraft. She was believed to have challenged the original Puritan values, which is something that was unheard of. What I'm about to read is the warrant for Sarah Good from the legal documents of the Salem Witchcraft Papers. Whereas Mrs. Joseph Hutchinson, Thomas Putnam, Edward Putnam, and Thomas Preston Yeoman of Salem Village in the County of Essex personally appeared before us to make a plate on behalf of their majesty against Sarah Good, the wife of William Good of Salem Village, the above for suspicion of witchcraft by her committed, and thereby much injury done to Eliza Paris, Abigail Williams, Anna Putnam, and Elizabeth Herbert. You are therefore in their majesty's names, hereby required to apprehend and bring before us the said Sarah Good, tomorrow about 10 o'clock in the forenoon at the house of L.T. Nathaniel Ingersoll's in Salem Village, or as soon as may be then, and there to be examined relating to the above premises and here of you are not to fail at your peril, dated Salem, February 29th, 1691. Sarah Good was then brought to the examination of her witchcraft by an officer. Sarah Good's examination started with her denying any sort of witchcraft that she may be involved in. She is recorded saying she employs no body, serves God, and does not torment any children. She kept her ground firmly on these aspects. Next, I will read the paper recorded during Sarah Good's examination, dated Salem, March 29, 1691. Sarah Good, upon the examination, denied the matter of fact that she ever used any witchcraft or hurt the above said children or any of them. The above named children being all present positively accused her of hurting them sundry times within the two months and also that morning. Sarah Good denied that she had been at their houses in said time near them or had done them any hurt all the above said children and then present accused her face to face upon which they were all dreadfully tortured and tormented for a short space of time. And the affliction and tortures being over, they charged Sarah Good again that she had then said tortured them and came to them and did it, although she was personally then kept at a considerable distance from them. The examination of Sarah Good led to others confessing that Sarah Good was a witch in their own confessions. This is an excerpt from Abigail Hobbs' confession that mentions Sarah Good. Was in company with Sarah Good and knows her to be a witch, and afterwards was taken deaf and Mary Walcott there saw good and osborne run their fingers into the depoit's ears a little after she spoke and said good told her she said not speak the accusations and examination of sarah good then led to her being charged with the crime of witchcraft next i'll read an excerpt from the death warrant of sarah good tuesday next being the 19th day of instant july between the hours of eight and four noon the same day you safely conduct the said sarah good Rebecca Nurse, Susanna Martin, Elizabeth Howe, and Sarah Wilde from their majesty's goal in Salem, affords to the place of execution, and there cause them, every of them, to be hanged by the neck until they be dead. Sarah Good was then executed by hanging on July 19, 1692. 
Though Sarah Good was executed for something nobody is truly sure has ever happened, her story does live on though. There is a stone plaque outside of Salem, Massachusetts, so we will never forget the pain and suffering she has endured.